Hello, hello. All right, everybody. I got some Panini Absolute Baseball. Oh, I didn't know this was going to be in my Wally today. I ordered some off of Target.com a couple days ago. That's supposed to be here on Monday. Um, unbeknownst to me, Wally had six blasters sitting on the shelf this morning. So sweet. I grabbed two, somebody else grabbed two, and somebody else came along and grabbed the other ones. And that was it. There was only six. So uh, what's up with that, right? We drop day and there's only six blasters but anyway so wish me luck right i don't know if there's any kabooms in these things or not uh in the retail it's kind of a mess all right if you look at it as far as what's retail what's not retail there's so much hobby exclusive and retail exclusive in this stuff look at all this if you want to pause that and take a look at it by all means uh please if you make any sense of it let me know that's, it looks freaking crazy to me. Um, all right, here we look at some of the cards right here. Look at this. Man, these are nice. This is a 100-card base set, and I think there's an additional 62 rookies. So it's 162 cards, I believe. You got your hollow silver, spectrum blue, spectrum red, spectrum purple. They really upped their game a little bit. I like these this year. It's really nice. Um, stream team. Can't wait to get a look at these things. By... Well, from what I'm seeing here compared to what I saw last year, a big difference. Look at that Tools of the Trade, Brandon Marsh. Look at that, Robin Young. Oh, my goodness. Look at the color explosion on that thing. Wow. I love it all. Uh, Tuvi. Okay, here's where you see right here. Uh, retail parallels. You get your base retail, your green. I think green on these blasters, you get like six in a blaster. And you're guaranteed uh, on average. And you're saying two lavas. On average as well in two blasts you're gonna get six green and two lavas on average and then you can also get a red numbered on the base so last year i don't think you can get any base numbered cards out of this stuff um it was just green that was it so you got red 99 you got a hollow gold number to 10 a hollow black one of one sweet and way to up your game panini on this stuff man loving it um Right here, you see, it's it's really it's does it's really a mess as far as what you can get, retail and hobby wise. Rookie leather signatures, I believe, was on the blaster. You can go back and take a look at that and pause it and check it out. Rookie wood signatures, uh, absolute checklist right here. Retail, okay, absolute ink set checklist. This is definitely retail because it says retail number to ninety nine or less. Spectrum blue seventy five. Spectrum gold number to ten or less. Spectrum black one of one. Who they got on here? Perdomo, Devers, Maddox Burns, Medina, Trammell, Honeywell, Daniel Johnson. Why is Daniel Johnson on here? Really? The, the Cavs, not the Cavs, the, the Tribe cut him at the end of last season, released him, then re-signed him to a minor league deal. He was in, in spring, did not make the open day roster. I don't know if he's still in AAA double a or what if he's even with the team anymore but i don't know why he's on here still it really baffles me to some of these autos right here uh ryan jeffers man that cat i just got done watching the, the tribe play the, against the twins in a three-game series and jeffers got some pop the average is a little low but he got some pop tanner walls apostle uh elroy jimenez is he not ever hurt um Terry Francona, I would love to get the number to 68. Oh, man, I'd love to get that. Whit Merrifield, number to 25. What? Man, I want that freaking Terry Francona. I found my chase card, boys and girls. I wonder how much that would cost on the secondary market. We got Tatin Teast. What else you got here? Marks of Fame set checklists. Uh... Tools of the trade. That was the big one last year. It was like a lot of the autos and stuff like that. And the patches were tools of the trade. Um, I think I got a um, Brady Singer, that which I sold recently. Only got like 15 bucks for it, I think. And something else, too. It was like a triple patch auto. It was a sticker. Uh, tools of the trade 4 swatch signature sets. Jumbos. Like I said, I don't know which one of these are going to be retail, which ones are going to be... These are retail, absolutely, because it says retail. So I'm guessing if it doesn't say retail, it's not. 
I don't know. But I know those tools of the trade were. I know I've seen them on back here. Yeah, I'm looking right at it. So those are tools of the trade. Swatch 2, 3, and 4 are, are all retail. Tools of the trade jumble signatures are in retail as well. Uh, Marks of fame are. A lot of it is. So these are right here. Let me see. Bruhan. Heasley. Deachman for the Cubs. Juan Yepes. There's a good one. Uh, Low for the Braves. Jake Myers. Shane Baz. Uh, Reed Detmers. Didn't he throw a no-no or Pertnier? Uh, Brash. Strider for the Braves. Josiah Gray. Jose Sarai. Jake Berger for the White Sox. Nice there. Some nice rookie material sets there. Uh, Halls of Fame memorabilia. I believe those were in here. Patches sets loaded, man. These are freaking things are loaded. The, the, the hobby boxes are doing well, well, well right now. I was gonna pick up a hobby box yesterday, but the guy was wanting like 185. I know he would have dealt with me and gave me a little bit better price, but I asked him how much for a case, and he was like 1500. So it's been like 150 a box. I was like, no way for a case, 150 a box, an average, no. So I just took a Prism hobby box <laughs> instead for 1375. So I'll be opening that at some point. Uh, this weekend on the channel as well. Uh, we did grab some more Prism Retail this morning. It wasn't as much as last week in stock today, but pert near. <laughs> kabooms, right? These things are hot, man. The kabooms are hot. I love the kabooms. Everybody loves the kabooms. It reminds me of the um, the whammies. I kind of like that kind of like a gimmick type card that was re just really cool. You know, they're that I really want to have, right? So, rookie class. All right, let's get into ripping this stuff, guys. All right, enough jaw jacking. I'm all pumped. Should have got more uh, from Target. They're still on Target. Maybe I'll order a few more if I... Let's see the quality of the card first. Last year, it was, that was the one thing I was like, really kind of like unimpressed with, like the quality of the card. They just look color-wise, they look kind of bland. You know... I don't think it had anything to do with the logos, although it might have had something to do with the logos, but I don't think it did. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six should be six packs, right? Yeah, six. I miscounted. I can't count. Nice and colorful packs there, too. Wow. All right. Looks good to me. So we're going to get a patch or an auto. It says, find one autograph or memorabilia card per blaster box. So what are we going to get, folks? What are we going to get? Got a Soto. Juan Soto. First one up. They got the patch. <laughs> that didn't take long. See what it is. It could be RPA. All right? Acuna. Steve Carlton. Now they feel and look by about the same. The Lewis Gill for the Yankees. Rookie Threads, Lewis Gill, not numbered. Oh, it is numbered, okay. Number 8 out of 99. You can barely see it on there. 8 out of 99, Yankees. Puts the Yankees on the board. <laughs> on my board. Yadier Merlina, that's Icon's insert. Looks a little bit more glossy. A little bit more body to him, I think. Uh, by Storm, Shoei. Nice. That's your. That's the green. You get one green per, so there's your green. Are they all gonna all the inserts gonna be green? I don't think so. Alex Bergman and Juan Soto. Juan Soto. Let's see if we get anything else out of here, some colored base or whatever parallels. Seven cards per pack, six packs per box. Forty two cards. These were twenty seven. 48 or 42 at Walmart. They're pretty much that standard rookie class. Shane Bass. Remember the rookie classes from last year. These do look a little bit better. They got a little bit of Carlos Swirl to the back of them and everything like that. I like that. That's a nice card. Mike Piazza. The green. Oz. And Mickey Mantle. So it is that 
Shoei insert was the green, and they all meant green. So we got parallel Shoei. We got something out of here. Looks a little bit shinier. Something shiny. Could it be? We get two of the red of the red lavas or lavas. That might be a lava. Jose, Jose, Jose. That boy's a beast. Jonathan India. A Randy Rosarina. And I'm guessing that's a lava. That's not red, though. Numbered at all or anything? No, just a parallel. Nice looking. Did it say lava or red lava? It just says lava. Okay, my bad. Just says lava. Hall Worthy. Barry Larkin. He sure is Hall Worthy. Rookie class, Lewis Gill Green. Boba Shet, Boba Shet, and a nice show, eh? All right, cool. That my show, he only batting about 262 right now this year, ain't he? Something like that. We got about 14, 14 dingers. Sammy Sosa. Ozzy Albies. Here comes the judge. Rookie class. That's a nice one. O'Neill Cruz. He's one of the chase rookies for this year. Not a parallel, just a base, it looks like. Here's our green. The green right there. Very subtle. Pete Alonzo. A Rod. A bomb for A Rod. Here's our other lava. JD. Got something behind it? No. Corey Seeger. And nice. Whoa, baby. Oh, hot dog. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's my sleeves? Where's my sleeves? <laughs> oh, hot dog. I got a gray lot going out next week, and guess what's going in it, folks? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wonder Franco Lava, rookie class. Whew. Wow, I just took the two boxes in the front. That seems to be playing out pretty good for me when I do that anymore. No, oh, where's all my freaking loaders? Oh, well, at least I got my sleeves over here handy. Man. Wander Franco, rookie class lava. <whistles> banger, banger. St statistically speaking. Insert, nice looking card there. And for our green, historical duos. Tom Seaver and Mike Piazza. Man, they only got two boxes in this morning. I grabbed a two from the front. I'm gonna have that that has been working for me. Years ago, at one point in time in my life, I would always like reach to the back. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder what's up front. I never wonder what but it's all just luck anyway, right? You know? But I would always reach to the back. What's in the back? Give me the one of those in the back. I've been taking the ones in the front this year and it's been working for me. Is dumb luck, right? It's dumb luck. Dumb blind luck. The Griffinator. Ryan Reynolds. Frank Chance. Extreme team. Nice one there. Bryce Harper. They did add more color to these this year. They spiced them up a bit. There's your green, Clayton Kershaw. Except for these, these look pretty much about the same. The greens. They do feel a little bit better though. Who we got here? Brandon Lau for Tampa. And Giancarlo Stanton. One down, folks. Our lavas have been hot. Got a nice show A green. These looking inserts.
Last time I had the patch, the hit was in the second. Let me turn them upside down then. The hit was in the first two packs, right? Before? Let me throw it upside down and see. Maybe we can save that hit to the end. Okay, Brian. Uh oh, we got something here. Is that a gold? Don't tell me. Tell me. Please tell me. Oh, this is this is gonna this could be good. Oh, it's Jacob DeGrom. I seen a W. I was like, oh. And it's a gold. Man, oh man, oh man. Jacob DeGroom. Four of ten. Man, that's still a banging card right there. I said save the hit to the last. <laughs> save the hit to the last. Man. Jacob the Grum Gold Extreme Team. Whew. Jared Duran, base rookie class base. <laughs> nice card. What other base? What are my other rookie classes? I mix them up. There's a green Trey Mancini. Another Trey Mancini and a Matt Olson. Wow. I think this is a mem. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, no, let's do it. It is the mem. Let's not do it. Let's wait. Ooh. Is my mem numbered? Where is my mem? Did I get one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, it was numbered at 99. Marcus Simeon. Vlad Jr. Randy. Rookie class of Jake Myers. Uh, Green. Babe Ruth. Giancarlo. And Mikey T. Little OC there. Maybe, maybe not. Always trying to get my trout tens, of course. Set it aside, we'll inspect it later. Although, first hand, it doesn't look like it would qualify. Besides, I don't think I would even send that one in anyway because it doesn't like have a space on it, even. I can deal with the no logo, but I don't, I don't know. If I want to, you gotta have a clean picture. Give me, let me see the guy. You know what I mean? Come on, like this. Give me a good action shot or something. Hmm. Ichiro, even like that. That's a good one. You can still see side of his face. What we got here our first lava. Statistically speaking, this guy could tell Marte. He freaking does haunt me though. This guy right here, man. I get a lot of his stuff. A lot. Shoeless Joe Jackson. And we got a green. Roberto Alomar and Jim Tomey for Cleveland. Absolute baseball green. Nice. Aaron Noah and Brandon Lau. I think it is Brandon Lau. Because that's how the, uh, or the guy's name for the Rays is announcer. Rarely I'll watch a Rays game. There's so many games on anymore these days. Like, I'll watch one. It's 12-15 now. My uh, Tribe's playing tonight against Boston. I'm watching that right now because the Tribe's on a roll. Um, but I missed the one last night. I had some stuff going on. Um, <laughs> so, but I'll be watching. I'll be watching that game tonight. And I'll, I'll check around 1 o'clock maybe here. It's coming up shortly. It's like 12 right now to see if uh, there's any 1 o'clock games. I'm sure there are. Sometimes there aren't. Manny Makato. Nolan. If the hobby boxes would have been... He would have cut me a deal. Lou had a case at the LCS. 
if he would have gave me that case for, I should have bargained. I should have asked, man. He he just threw fifteen out there. I told him cash though. I was like, cash money, dude. How much for the case? He was like fifteen, and he was asking like one eighty a box. So that was I, I took that. It was his discounted price, even though that's that's still marked up too high. We got our lava here. Mariano Rivera. A bomb for A Rod. Show A. Oh, there's our green. There's our last green. And a Joey Vato. Hall worthy. I don't know. Is he Hall worthy? I don't know. Good question. Find that we got. He's Hall worthy. Big time career for this cat. Paul Worley, Miguel Cabrera. Got his real one autograph back from grading the other day. All right, our last lava here. Who is it? Is it Jacob DeGrom? It is Jacob DeGrom. <laughs> I got a Jacob DeGrom boxes. I got my, still got my patch left. Lavas are really nice, folks. Really nice. Kind of see that. Almost like that Bowman Lava type deal, but it's not really as, as intense as the Bowman Lava, I don't think. Really nice looking card. RPA. 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 Damn. Two mems. But you can get RPAs at least last year you could. I'm guessing. Tools of the trade war. Babe. Yeah, I'm pulling it from the backside. Manny Macchiato. Rafael Devers. Statistically speaking, green. Nice hit. He's having a good year. Uh, we got Hall Worthy. Pudge. Probably Hall Worthy. Steve Carlton. Let's flip it. Ready? One, two. Matt Manning. Rookie Threads. Eh, not numbered. Nope. Eh. How's he doing with Detroit? Is he playing? Is he hurt? I know Casey Mize is like done for the year, right? Alright, guys. So, this was it. I did go to the, I did grab some patch, <laughs> some mem uh, top loaders the other day, because I knew this stuff was coming, and I'm getting some more Bowman stuff, I mean not Bowman, but uh, Prism stuff done, and I didn't have any enough, should have got another, I should have got three or four top loader boxes with all this mem stuff coming out right now. So this one's number eight. 8 out of 99, Lewis Gill from the Yanks. Having a, the Yankees are killing it, man. Matt Manning base. And the two big dogs right here. The extreme team, Jacob DeGrum, 4 of 10 gold. Then the rookie class, Wander Franco Lava. <whistles> Off the CSG it goes. All right, guys, that's absolute baseball 2021. Um, that's everything that's pan through. See everything that I got there. Um, this stuff is pretty good, dude. I like it. Um, I don't know if you can get the kabooms out of retail. I don't know if the other variations of retail besides the blasters are going to come out. I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear like you guys do. A nice Shohei Atani by Storm Green on that one as well. Man, um, two more lavas. The DeGrom lava. Randy or Rosa Randy. You can see it without a sleeve. I'll sleeve it up just now. And oh, our other lava. I think this is yeah, it is a lava. Okay. Cattell Mar Cattell Marte, statistically speaking. That's a nice card. Man, it was just a different player, man. I'm always getting this cat. I don't know why. Cat like haunts me. He <laughs> does, I'm telling you. I always get his parallels. I never really pull any like great parallels of his, but I always pull like regular parallels of this cat. 
He's in every set, I think. That's why. Well, there's a lot of guys in every set. All right, guys, that's it for now. If you guys see this win in Walmart, I'd suggest go ahead and pick it up. It was a pretty fun rip. Got some good-looking cards. I think this is an upgrade from last year's Absolute Baseball, uh, what they did. The, they added the Lavas. Um, you're pulling number parallels, base, uh, and inserts out of retail, which last year I did 20 blasters of this stuff last year. I did an entire case of this stuff, and I didn't pull one parallel numbered card i don't think you even could i don't think it was possible in retail last year the fact that i got one out of this these two first two and one's number to 10 i think is outstanding look at the card too they added like some life to them some color to them i showed you in the beginning cardboard connection and what that stuff looked like some of those cards on there looked like i don't whether a hobby or not who knows that that was a mess but i think that you know this right here looks a uh, freaking amazing as well with adding the lava to it and that that's done so much to it there's that 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 car looks great the statistically speaking so some of these inserts in the lava might be something to chase after let's see if i can show you guys right here uh we got a rookie class right here what that lava does to it man what a difference here's the base rookie class look at the what the, the lava effect does to it though Right? Whew. I wonder how cheap these lavas are going for. Oh, man. There probably isn't too many out yet right now. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to be looking for this <laughs> weekend. All right, guys. Uh, bye for now. Good luck cracking. Off to the next. Absolutely cracking. Later.